Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. Ah, uh, yes. I want to big, give a big shout out to Verna Cox of Boonville. Ver yes, let's hear it for Verna. A few years ago, Clark Bars, they stopped making Clark Bars and Butterfinger Bars. Why? I don't know. Clark was always my favorite bar. She says, I make Clark Bars, homemade Clark Bars. She brought them by the station, her husband did, Tom, and I thought, okay, I tried it. It was. It was like the old Clark Bar. Then Clark started making the Clark Bars again. Oh, it wasn't Clark. It was the Mallow Company, and they didn't get the recipe right. Because the Clark Bar that's out there right now doesn't taste like the old Clark Bar. You know what does? Verna Cox's Clark Bars. She said, Ron, I will give you some. I saw it at the Fall Festival with Angie. She said, I will bring some in for Christmas. True to her word, she brought some in yesterday. There was one, <laughs> there was one Clark Bar left. <laughs> Got a little bit of fudge left, too, but he had a big old platter of all these confections. And we had toffee in there. We had uh, turtles in there, too. Those are gone. Numerous Clark Bars. Verna, we're going through this pretty fast. <laughs> but thank you so much. We love it. Uh, even though we're gaining weight over here. Uh, Ellis Park camera looking at the sunshine on the Twin Bridges. I love that. Only one lonely little cloud out there. Look at it, man. But the only cloud of significance is this dude right here. But that's going to change. We are going to see more clouds as we go through the afternoon, unfortunately. And, yeah, we can't keep that sunshine around for a whole day, can we? A few more clouds over the Owensboro Riverfront. Camera's rocking because that wind is kicking pretty good out there. And now downtown Evans, where you can see the waves, the ripples in the water created uh, by that wind. You're going to see some white caps out there, too. And on a day as cold as today, with temperatures barely above the freezing mark at 38, yeah, any kind of wind is not welcome, but we're getting it, and plenty of it. 21 miles an hour sustained at the top of the hour from the west-southwest. And here's what it looks like temperature-wise. I mean, all of us above the freezing mark now, the reporting locations. 34 in Flora, 34 in Vincennes and Lagodi, 39 in Santa Claus, 41 in Tell City, as well as uh, Beaver Dam and also Greenville. 42 in Fordsville is the warm spot right now. 39 in Owensboro, 37 degrees in Henderson. Now, the winds, check them out. They've really ramped up. And for the most part, they're in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range. But we've got 22 Henderson, 21 Owensboro, 21 in Evansville. Feels like temperatures, even though all of us, all of the reporting locations are above freezing temperature wise, it doesn't feel like that. 28 is what it feels like in Evansville. 26 Henderson, 29 Owensboro, 27 in Jasper. Still feels like 23 degrees right now in Flora. And I'm going to tell you this, and you're not going to like it. I'm going to tell you anyway. If you saw numbers like this on Christmas Day, you would be happy compared to what we're actually going to see. On Christmas Day, although it looks like we could see some snow on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, one model is showing a decent little snow, about two to three inches worth, but highs are going to be, it looks like, in single digits, wind chills below zero. Not below freezing, below zero. So this is going to look balmy compared to what we're going to have late next week. All right. Oh, I did that. I did that too early. <laughs> oh man! Uh, I'll show that later. I'll try to see if I can show that later on. Uh, live first warning Doppler radar. We'll go back if we have to. Uh, showing absolutely nothing. I want Angie to see that. Anyway, you can see the clouds up to the north, and the clouds are wrapping around this area of low pressure to our north, and they're going to swing in and bring us more and more cloud cover as we go through the afternoon. And that low pressure really not moving much up there in the Great Lakes. Plenty of snow continues to wind its way uh, through the Great Lakes, but very slowly. Anyway. Clouds starting to push in from the northwest. Our future tracker indicates that. Could see a few flurries, maybe even a few sprinkles out there, but I think mainly just some flurries late in the afternoon. Although, if you go into the Santa Stroll, you might like to see a few flakes flying on by, even though it will be a cold night, no doubt about that. Wind's going to settle down some as we go into the evening, so it's not going to be quite as windy as what we've got right now. Clouds break up a little bit. We are going to see just a little bit of sunshine to start our Saturday, uh, but then we're going to be seeing plenty of clouds by mid morning and throughout the rest of the day. Sunday will be sunnier. High today, 41 degrees. Sunshine giving way to clouds though this afternoon, basically from north to south. And yeah, we got a few flurries out there. South southwest wind. Uh, to 10 to 20 miles an hour, so definitely adding a big chill out there. On the three degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 44, daytime high, and the actual daytime high, 43 degrees. Connie Burkhardt of Evansville, let's hear it for Connie. You've got a sock cap courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic, and over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, getting colder. Yep, a lot colder. Mid 30s for highs both days over the weekend. Again, Sunday, the better of the two days because less wind and more sunshine out there. And then temperatures stay cold into Christmas week. Could see uh, maybe one to two inches of snow on Thursday, just a heads up there. So, and then of course, later on that week, it's got Christmas weekend and it is going to be bitter cold. I'm going back to the image. There it is. What <laughs> You've heard of a world? gingerbread house. How about just a bread house? Uh, this is like a food house right here. <laughs> Look, you've got an actual blackberry bush right there. I think 
think these are Vienna sausages for the logs out front. Oh, my You've got goodness. graham cracker doors right there. You've got bread. Looks like raisin bread right there for windows. Looks like pepperoni, but some sh maybe sugar-coated pepperoni uh, <laughs> for shingles. That, you don't say something L like that every little day. little snow on the roof. Yeah, uh, Kathy Goodall's the one that sent that <laughs> one in. Kathy working hard for, on, on that bread house right there. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. We'll be back with a little tour of Salabron. Ashley is here.